Welcome to the video guys. Uh, today I'm just going to be in Inkscape here. I just wanted to do a quick demonstration on how to uh, manipulate or alter, I guess, text using the Path Effects Editor. Um, it's quite easy to use once you know how to do it, so I just want to give a uh, quick demonstration on that. So I'm just going to type in the word subscribe. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing it. Uh, that'd be awesome. Um, so yeah, I'll just scroll this in a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Uh, so basically we're going to go through and click on the path and object to path and that just makes it a path so that we can actually go in and, and move some stuff around. So um, again, path effects is what we're using. So that is in the path tab. You scroll down to the bottom here and you'll see path effects. In some of the older versions of Inkscape, this was actually path effects editor, um, but uh, it is the same, the same thing. So you'll see down on the bottom here, there's a little plus symbol and you can click on that and you've got some options here. So envelope deformation is the first one and bend is the second one that I'll be showing. Um, so there are some other ones there, but we'll go through and just show these ones at the moment. So I'll go ahead and click on that. We'll bring it in. So as you can see down on the bottom right here, we've got a top path. Uh, there's a right, a left, and a bottom path. And clicking on each one of those does different things. So I'll go ahead and click on this top path here. Uh, and you can see this line. So all you need to do is click and drag. And you'll see that that sort of stretches that out a little bit there. So we can also come down to the bottom here and we can click on the bottom path. And that'll then put that line underneath along the bottom and we can do the same thing so we can drag on click on that and drag and as you can see there you can sort of alter that text in the way that it looks uh, also there is a right and left path for this for this particular one as well and again just clicking on those you can make different adjustments to different ones different places that's quite easy to do and very handy to uh to use um, so also within this, what I did want to point out is when you drag the cursor along the, the, uh, the lettering or the words here, uh, you can see that red outline. So if we were to save it like that, that's the path that the cutter, whether it be a laser or a vinyl cutter or whatnot, would follow. Uh, so we have to go to path and hit object to path in order to make that a complete path there. So now you can see that the red outline does actually follow each letter. And that is now actually done, so that's good to go like that. So the second one that I'm going to show you is the bend function, which is pretty much used the same way. Um, so I'll just type in like here to give the video a like. Make it a little bit bigger. That's it. And it can be used the same way. Now you notice down on the bottom right hand corner there, that plus symbol isn't lit up at the moment because we need to make this a path. So once I click object to path, you'll see that little plus sign light up. There you go, it turns white. So you can then click on that and we'll go up onto here and we'll click on the bend function. So this works exactly the same way, except with this one, when you click on that bend path or that path tab there, it puts a line straight through the middle of the word. And you can then grab that line and you can move that. So you can bend it up or down, left or right. Just grab that. So this is good for making curved text, I guess, or putting text in a circle also is quite a good one. Uh, you can also click on that line and you'll get these little node handles and you can grab and, and move those around. You can stretch them. Um, so you can do all different types of stuff with that. So yeah, again, just a good thing to know how to, how to use. Um, you will notice here, I'll just show you that. So you'll notice here that when you do drag the cursor along, it does, you can see that red outline there. So it does actually, again, if you were to save it like that and you put it into a machine to cut it, whether it be a vinyl cutter, laser, CNC, it would follow that path. So you definitely have to do the, uh, the path and object to path. And that one is now saved as it is, and you'd be able to cut that one out just like that. So again, there's two ways there that are actually just really good and, and really easy to do once you know how to use the function. Um, I'll go ahead, I'll just do one more here just to walk you through that process again. I'll do the envelope deformation one and it can just sort of walk you through and so you can see that process again. So it's a little bit bigger here. And as you can see again, that plus symbol there down the bottom, when I click on this, isn't lit up, so we need to do the object path, which is on that path tab. And we can then click on that. So that was the bend one. And as I said, there are other ones. So you've got gears and, and lots of other functions there that you can try out and use. They all do different things. Um, yeah, which are, they're all quite handy in their own way, I guess. But yeah, we'll go back and do this envelope one. 
And again, so we've got the top and bottom paths in the left and right. So if we click on this right one, yeah, we can do that. It's quite easy. So again, on the bottom path, and you can bend it down. Again, you know, you click on it, you get those handles. So you can alter those, stretch them out. You know, play around until you get your desired look, I guess. But, uh, yeah, just keep in mind that once you do get the desired look of the text and how you want it, that you do need to do the object to path in order to make sure that that's the line that it cuts. So, yeah, pretty pretty cool. Pretty cool thing to know how to use and to know how to do. Um, yeah. It's pretty good. So then, yeah, go you, you, you can see the, the outline path object to path so yeah cool all right guys well that's all i wanted to point out in today's video so i hope you enjoyed the video if you do give it a like and again consider subscribing to the channel and uh thanks for checking out the video guys i appreciate it